have something to tell you about Brave New Voices also. I've been really touched by the Brave New Voices poems. Um, we were able to go to Brave New Voices because Tucson as a community came together and helped us raise $2,000 in just over two weeks online, which is an amazingly humble thing because far from like me feeling like, oh, we just raised two grand in two weeks. <laughs> Um, it's more like, what a responsibility. What an honor and what a responsibility we have as a community. And I'm really proud to say that watching the representatives of our community on this national stage, they did an amazing job. And they represented everything that it is that we know and love about this event, which is also what was in their poems tonight. So thank them for their sacrifice um, doing that and the privilege of getting to go. Um, and I want to tell you, like, people are already talking about, like, Brave New Voices next year, Brave New Voices next year. Hold up. That's not a given, right? There are other teams at Brave New Voices that come from organizations that had, like, million dollar budgets, right? They traveled, there's one team that traveled 20 people deep, right? They had, like, eight adults and 12 um, youth. I mean, they paid, like, probably $30,000 to go Brave New Voices. You know, no big deal, 30 grand. <laughs> More than like me and three of my friends making a year. Um, but the thing about that is, is we held our own. And we were there, and we were there not because we have a million dollar budget, but because we have a strong community based on mutual respect, understanding, and empowerment. So if you want to go to Brave New Voices next year, that starts now. And that starts with saying hello to the person who's here for the first time. That starts with tweeting about us. That starts with bringing somebody new next time. That starts with all that stuff. So get involved, there's more chances than ever to do so. 